tell you guys, today is just the beginning. Amen? It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Just imagine we have not given out the phones yet, the scholarship yet. Banange, I even don't know. <laughs> there are remaining payers also. Uh -huh. I don't know. You are wondering, eh? <laughs> okay. Now, with no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, now, the next session we're going to is going to be a very, a very crazy moment of praise and worship. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. And our job here is to prepare you guys for that moment. Yes. Now, I want us to make a joyful noise for the second time. And let's give it up for the Holy Spirit because this next time is the time when the Holy Spirit is going to move intensely. Amen. This time again, the kuka atemu mani. Tu mire kubu gerevi afeba na eleri sijo. Tu mire kubu yimira kubu gerevi. Kumaguru go. Kuma kumaguru go. Excuse me, my Uganda is not Uganda ring, but we are what? We are inside. We are inside. So this is what we are going to do. You're done. Ofunye. Eh. Okay. All right, Pakutano. Oh my God, these the ones are even very nice. Yeah? Please show the audience. Show the audience. Show the audience. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yeah, man. Now, because we ate some good food, I want this joyful noise for the Holy Spirit to be a little bit louder than the one we did in the morning. Yeah? Yeah? Get something like this. Get something in your air, in your hands like this, and put it up. So on the count of three, we're going to shout and make the loudest praise for the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Without him, we are nothing. And if you know that, I want to see your hands up like this. Put Okay. For us who don't have katambara, we shall use our hands. Are you ready? ready? So we count together. Are you ready? Three, two, two one. Somebody, everybody, back, back, back. This year, uh -huh. when the enemy thought we are going to cry, yeah, man, yeah, we are man. going to fall sick. Yeah, man, yeah, I'm man. telling you this year, uh -huh. it is ending in praise. It is ending in joy. Somebody, somebody, And because it is ending in praise, I want us to praise the Lord like we never did before. Amen? Whatever situation you're going through, Whatever it is, it will end in praise, not in tears. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Yeah? Over to Jeyo Kumasimu. Tukawanike. Hey, I like that. Mwaga Jeyo do ready. Bantu mwenga mubevi gezo. Ataina simu. Banda yin kusasi de. 
DJ you take a mubanka. Huh? Just remove it, oh my God. You only have a minute for that song. A minute for that song. I'm going to request my my brothers. Which brothers? Uh, my neighbors from uh, nice, just like from the United States. Yeah, ma'am. <laughs> Now this music is for the United States and my peoples. And just gotta come and join me over here, man. We gotta do this together, yeah? You can come join yeah, us, yeah, you know. Yeah, it will be such a pleasure. Here. Oh my come god. Come on, let's appreciate them to I mean, time. what? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! Woo! So the song says it will end in praise. Whatever situation we're going through, we believe even as the year is coming to an end, everything is going to end in praise. Yeah, man. Amen. Amen. Whatever situation it has been, it is going to end in, in what? Praise. In what? Praise. Not tears, but in what? Praise. Someone look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. It is not ending in tears. It is not ending in tears. But it is ending in praise. But it is ending in praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands up like this for Woo! Jesus! Ready? Everybody! Put them up! Put them up! appreciate our guests one more time ladies and gentlemen oh my god now we prepared something very awesome for you guys very awesome very awesome this was just a vibe check we were making sure the food digests in your stomach okay ladies and gentlemen yeah man i don't want to say it okay let me just go now again just watch this space <laughs> thank you Gendi, we are you supposed hey, to go to that hey, side? Yeah. Yeah. Just watch this speech, I'm ladies watching. and gentlemen. So do we kill the lights?
Listen, represent, right, represent, represent, right, represent, represent, right, represent, represent, right, represent. Are you ready? Represent, right, represent, represent, right, represent, 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 represent. What we say? 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 Praise God! Praise God! This is riot. The righteous invasion of truth. The truth does not need permission to invade your life. And tonight, 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 the truth is invading. insane but the king of glory is on our brains do we have some crazy people in the house tonight are you crazy 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 as usual today is not business as usual today is the righteous invasion of truth the righteous invasion of truth of truth righteous invasion of truth of truth righteous invasion of truth of truth righteous Invasion of truth, of truth. You can call me crazy. I mean, say, King of Glory, oh my brain. I see a dark sky. You get my ray. Poor oh, blessing, 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 poor oh, blessing. Listen, listen, tell your neighbor, neighbor, listen, listen, tell them, listen, listen, you can call me crazy, I'm insane, king of glory, oh my brain, I see a dark sky, dig in my brain, poor blessing, poor blessing to Joseph, call me crazy, I'm insane, king of glory, oh my
blessing. Ball 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 blessing. Jesus.
shall follow you somebody say your grace is chasing me down are you ready everybody jump
Jesus. Amen. Amen. The rich will call you rich. The blessed will call you blessed. The favored will call you favored. Amen. Amen. The anointed will call you anointed. The blessed will call you blessed. The rich will call you rich. Amen. Amen. If you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, say amen. 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 Shout for Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. Somebody listen right now. We are going to worship God. Amen. We're going to open our hearts and sing to him songs of love. Songs of worship, songs of adoration. Are you ready? Yeah. But before that, somebody say, I have Jesus in my life. Living for his glory, I'm on fire every day. Nothing can stop me, doesn't matter what I face. I am getting bigger every day. Every day. I have Jesus in my life. I'm living for his glory, I'm on fire every day. And nothing can stop me, doesn't matter what I face. and worship him in your own words father you are holy we bless your name we give you glory we give you all the praise there is no one like you jesus father we thank you for this day we thank you for this time we thank you for your presence we thank you for your anointing lord we know that you are here your presence is here with us it's evident oh god Father, we bless you, Jesus. Come and bless him in your own words. Lift up your voice. Lift up your hands. Give him all the praise. You are worthy. You are holy. You are mighty. Yes, you are. Thank you, Jesus. Where about the answer? God, we in the city Never see what we would do. Can you walk the Chayaka? The Sigal and Quesiga, Bonnie Mwesiqua. Gary Dungi, Tabi Dabi Car. I never quano, Chiriwala. 
mani tega vera di siga lan kuesi ga kuoni muesi gua kanyanza lo moti ma quange joli nembe che mi dozi joli na tu va bien joya Endosa 
Praise God, praise God, praise God. Wow. Hi. Let me see you Let's try that again. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise So, I'm going to finish the message I started earlier on. Um, the one I was not really supposed to preach. And um, how many of you recall the verse that um, Zach shared with you? There's a weird buzzing sound. And the verse if you're just joining us now was so now I will break his yoke bar from upon you and I will tear off your shackles so in my message I had two verses written down there were more, but I had two verses. And the second verse is from Psalm 107, verse 16. For he has shattered gates of bronze and cut bars of iron asunder. Let me tell you what the word asunder means. To break apart. If you're trying to write down the very first verse that I read, that I read from, it's from Nahum 1, verse 113. 113. If you're, if you're looking for it. But when I was talking earlier, I told you the title of my entire message. The title of my entire message was Baggage Claim. Now, the whole point of this was you guys are not holding your baggage, you're claiming your baggage. Which means I don't have to have it every day, but I own claim to this baggage. And why this was something I wanted to share fully, and I partly shared it in the earlier session, was this. He says, I will break off your shackles. I'll take off your shackles. And I will take off the yoke bar from upon you. And I said something that while I was sharing the message that might be the most important thing. And I even shared it Wednesday. You see, in order for all of that to happen, 
You have to be willing to come to Jesus. And I don't mean here when everybody is jumping and shouting and dancing. That's not what I mean. What I'm talking about is this. If Jesus was to be here right now preaching to you and said, Tom, Michelle, Michael, Jeremy, Susan, Denise, Daisy, I know you're going through something. I know what you're going through is hard. Please come and let me take the yoke off your back and destroy the shackles. You would have to walk up in front of everyone to come be free. Now, this is the part of the message I didn't share earlier on. Does the freedom begin when you arrive here or is the freedom when you get out of your chair? And I think it's when you get up out of your chair. Let me give you the theological reason why. The devil lost when Jesus got up. He didn't even have to walk out of the grave. He got up. Now you know what the hardest thing is? Is getting up. Getting up is the thing that's hard. You want to know why? So I bought some baggage. This is sour. With me. And I'm going to go take a seat. Right next to Zach. Just right here. And if he was preaching to me, and there are some things I need to be free from. Sometimes I can stand. Sometimes I can come here. But I leave the thing I need to bring there. Why? Because we don't want people to see us doing this. Because we are ashamed. And we're scared. So some people even leave this at home. And they come and sit. They pray. But they can't get delivered. Because the baggage they needed to bring, they were too ashamed for other people to see. It's not just that we like looking good broken. It's the fact that sometimes we're even afraid of how the case looks like. Sometimes 
sometimes our case does not look good enough to bring here. But she had a small case. Oh, that one just came with a handbag. Pastor, I'm bringing a wheelbarrow. They're going to look at me. So instead of bringing it and leaving it here, we keep it hidden. As if somehow, somewhere, There's freedom in the suffering of our silence. We claim our baggage and suffer in silence. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have Zach hold my mic for me. I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit. And, um, I'm going to open my bag. Because you see, some people bring the bag. Some people bring the bag. They bring it. But while they're here, they're looking at it. And this is what they're looking at. Slavery. Disease. Cancer. Kokoro. Sickness. Oburuade ne nyimbe. Gossip. Olugambo. Eh. Pain. Oburumi. Lust. Okwaka. Fear. Okutia. Being timid. Going crazy. Foolishness. Masturbation. Pornography. Guilt. And the list goes on. And on. And on. And while they're sitting here, they've seen everything in their case. They're like, Maybe today I was going to get free, but you know what? Let me. Yes, yes, pastor, yes. 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 Are you listening? Are you listening? That's what I'm talking about to you. Katona, musumba yoke rakugwe. Yomu guwa kutade bali na ya abuza guwa mlina anye musumba gamba gwe. And then, Chivam, you want to know what's funny? Yakana manye che unisa. The service ends. Service ne guwa. Everything is done. Bulitimunga chiwede. And now you have to. Kati. Pick this up. And walk. 
all the way out out with your baggage. I shared a story about a blind man in the afternoon session. And on Wednesday, I shared a story that I didn't complete. But I share it a lot. But this time, I'm only going to focus on one person in the story. See, this woman had been bleeding for 12 years. You see, a lot of people don't understand how bad that medical condition is. So let me educate you. It means every day non-stop, without a break, without her monthly cycle, this woman was bleeding in pain. She had seen every witch, every doctor, every physician, every wise person. She had run out of money. And to a lot of people, she had become unclean. She could not be around her own children. She was constantly wrapping herself in clothes. And those clothes had to be discarded. And then she would use new clothes every day. And she reached a point after 12 years where she said, I'm done with this. All I see is the person who can heal me so I don't care if these clothes look good. If there are all these people I'm going to get down and I'm going to crawl. I don't care. I don't if they are watching me. You know something? Zach, there was a medical doctor working at UCLA's medical school who reviewed this scripture and gave a medical analysis of what this woman had to go through and do. Because she was bleeding, the woman left a trail from where she began to where she had to get. Meaning, it looked like this. I don't care if they see me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care if it looks like this. For me to get there. But people would rather stay looking good and have to take this home all the time. This woman said, you know what? Laugh if you want. But I just got to do one thing. And the thing I have to do does not even need Jesus to look at me.
But she did the thing, and this is the only person in the Bible where this is recorded to. Only and I am going to repeat it verbatim. Zach, help me out. Go, go, go stand over here. Okay, okay. Go stand over there. She crawled. And grabbed. You want to know what happened? The Bible says Bible Jesus stopped. Yes, you Hold on. It also says this. Bible because the power left his body. This lady's actions did not need Jesus' permission. It says the reason Jesus stopped is the power left his body. What have you caused heaven to leave? And she was down here, where you want to see, holding on. And Jesus looks down at her and helps her up. And then the Bible says, Bible This is not me. The Bible says this. Bible Woman, go. Your faith has made you whole. I just told you, Magambi. she had to crawl. Yeah, you know, Mind that. you, this to here is a short distance. Oh, Do you want to know how far the woman crawled? The Bible recalls there were thousands around Christ. Let me show you how far she crawled. Some of you, from where you're sitting to the altar is too far. Some of you, for where you feel and where you need to go, is too far. This woman came crawling from further than this. This woman did not care. Why? Because she saw in a distance. She saw in a distance. The back of Jesus. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Put the camera on Zach. Camera Put, the camera Put the camera on Zach. Put the camera on Zach right there. She saw him in a distance. And she said, I'm going to get there. I don't need him to look at me. I don't care if he looks at me. I don't care how he touches me. I just need to grab him. And she crawled and crawled and crawled. Leaving a trail of blood. Leaving a trail of blood. But some people are sitting right here. 
and this is too far for you to make it there. Some of you don't even have a trail to leave. This woman Omukazon said, You can watch me. Yagama and Abandaba, please watch me. Mundunuri Abagala. Can I translate what that means? Let me translate what that means. I was a prostitute, but I don't care how you see me. I'm going. I used to be on drugs. I don't care how you see me. I'm going. I used to be a liar. I don't care how you see me. I'm going. I was a thief. But I'm going. I'm addicted to pornography. But listen, I'm going. Even if you watch me. And you know me. And I'm not clean enough for you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because I don't need to talk to Jesus. I just need to grab the thing here. You see, whatever. We are afraid. That people will see what's wrong with us when we come down. But the thing we need to bring here is so serious that it can't wait another day. Some people don't have papers in their bags. Some people have skeletons. And what you, you fear Come help me. It's too heavy. Just Come help me get it up there. Do you want to know something? If the bag is too heavy and you're too scared, you know what you do? You find some people who don't care to hold your baggage. The people you shouldn't be around are the ones who say, ah, no, 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 I don't want you near me. You're, mm. Listen, let me tell you something. I have a friend who's a lifeguard. He, so people are drowning, he has to swim and get them. Do you know how being a lifeguard works? Some of you want to be in ministry. Let me give you a one-on-one lesson. Being a lifeguard means in order to save someone while you're doing your job, you have to get wet. I cannot jump in and pull her out from saying, you know what, uh, hey, I, I know you're drowning, just hold on. It's going to be okay. I'm sending you a rope. No, 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 no. It means I have to jump in the water. I have to get in the water. And then I have to swim to them. And after I swim here, I may have to wait a little bit. And when people are drowning, and there's a lifeguard trying to help, 
I used to swim competitively. You know one thing that looks the same when people are drowning? And the lifeguard is there. They both look like they're drowning together. They both look like both of them need help. You may be trying to help someone and people are looking at you like you're drowning too. Do you know where the story changes? It changes when you begin swimming and pulling them along. Some of you are lifeguards. But you quit when people see you trying to save. You quit there. Some of the people who came today aren't strong enough to carry their bags. Some people are too ashamed to carry their bags. I preach this part, you can be seated. I preached this part on Wednesday. The reason why Robert and basic church folk don't get along is because if you're a lifeguard, and you begin making fun of other lifeguards or other people who are drowning. That's the gospel I don't know. When somebody is drowning, your job is to get in the water and help. Your job is not to stand here and shout. Why did you get in the water? Look at you. That's what happens to people who get in the water. No, 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 no. Why they're there doesn't matter. Uh, there's some people who enter church as God's professional court system. I'm here to judge you. You don't qualify. Shut up. Some of you might leave the church. Good, leave. My father told me something. That it, it was the big... I've heard him preach some of the best sermons in the world, but this one thing he said to me was the greatest thing he ever said. A church that is not full of broken, hurting people is not a church. It's a business model. Well, but Robert, you know, if we preach these messages, we'll attract corporates. Let the corporates stay at their job. There are people who need deliverance. My calling is not a CEO. My calling is a lifeguard.
Now that lady didn't have a lifeguard. So she just swam from where she was. And grabbed onto the nearest thing to land that she saw. And the land land did not have to agree. But the land had to help that woman. I'm telling you this. While you're here at Riot, all you have to do is get to Jesus. He does not need to look at you, but trust me, he'll stop. Some of you have been too afraid to crawl. Robert. You know, my bag is big. It's fine. Bring your bag. You don't need to take the bag home. You don't need to take the bag home. Today, Miracle Center is having a sale. We are giving freedom and we want your baggage. That's it. All you have to do is bring the baggage and leave it here. That's it. Nothing else. We don't want you with your baggage. We want your bags. Every service, we want your bag. If you're watching me, and you're at your home, and you have bags, Come tomorrow. If you're afraid of your family seeing you, it's okay. It's it's fine. Fine. Why? Because I'll stand here with you. If you're a little scared, raise your hand. We'll come help you. Do not worry. We want the baggage. You know, there's this Bible verse. And, and, and it says, Come to me, O ye that are weary, and I will give you rest. Whoa, 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 My excited people. He says, come to me. The, the part, you're excited about the rest, but you're forgetting the crucial part. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. You come here. You bring that baggage. I give the rest. Hold on for a second. Some of you are just taking it as, oh, I get to relax and and sleep. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Take the bag. Fill the bag with everything. Fill the bag. And zip up the bag. Now bring the bag. Bring the bag. Bring the bag. Put the bag down. Now go back down there. Now stop right there. Come out. Turn around. When you're thinking about the, this rest, you know what I'm thinking about? That come to me. 
Jangu oh, ye that are weary. Mwena mwena bakoye and I will give you the rest. Ndakukuwa che baita okuwumula. Meaning, kitegeza. Everything Satan took. Kuli sente ya kujako. Everything they held from you. Kuli che bakule meso funa. Everything that's been causing you stress. Kuli come here. Jangu. I have the rest. Nina che weta kuwumula. The whole thing. Ebintu byo nabyo nabyo weta you see, so some people that that called the back. You want to know why I titled the sermon Baggage Claim? That go down there. Okay, Now, now, just put the bag, just stand next to it. Don't touch you it. Now no, no, you come here. You see, why I called the sermon baggage claim is that some people also have their own baggage. But when they arrive where there are other people, their baggage wants to claim some more baggage. Mm -hmm. So, so as, as you come here, she is slowly touching this baggage. But she still has her back. I know Mugugu and I got an eguono. Why? Rachi? Demons are funny. Emizimu Jewunisa. Very funny. Jewunisa. They don't like being alone. They jagger a better joker. So much that they argued with Jesus to be thrown into pigs so they could be together they drowned but they were together now now, now I, I, I gave an example I gave an example just just come here hold my hand hold my hand now, now you hold Zach's hand hold Zach's, no, let go of the bag just hold Zach's hand no with the other hand now this is the thing what if I am baggage? And these two are trying to get loose. And she said, you know what, Zach? We're going to church. And she begins to walk. 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 No, walk that way. Walk. And I do this. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? No, 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 you can go to church a little bit, but no, 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 no. We're not leaving the club. We're not leaving cocaine. We're not leaving pornography. Let me tell you something. Some people, you need to let them go. You see, baggage is not just luggage. You missed me. Baggage is not just luggage. Baggage can be <laughs> people. Baggage sometimes can be friends. Baggage sometimes could be your ex. For some of you, baggage is your girlfriend. Baggage is your boyfriend. Some of you, baggage is your step family. Some people married their. Ba mm, let me not. <laughs> I'll let you some people married their baggage and, and you know what's funny come back come back companionship and baggage look the same but they're different I could say Zach I love you man we're the best dude yeah. Rob I, I'm going to church I'm getting saved actually me and her are going we're getting saved we're, we're going to be worshipping we're going to be entering revival and I'm like Zach man we're friends you can't do this you can't leave me 
You need to be we're a friend group we're together. Companionship and baggage look the same. Try and go. And I'm just like nah nah, 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 no, 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 come on. Come on. Until you let this guy go. Let me tell you something. First stop. Even if I'm pulling Zach, yeah, Zach, Zach wants to be free. You yeah, know Zach. what? All, Zach all has to do one thing. Zach, if Zach lets go, yeah, Zach, if Zach lets go, Zach, I can't pull anything. So <laughs> you know, I have a friend who came for the conference and he lost his baggage. He lost his baggage. They both did. But let me tell you something. They still came. And the baggage found them in the conference. Listen, you may need to let them go just for now. But trust me, they'll find they'll find you because the thing about this baggage claim message is that it's baggage claim it's yours so the moment it decides to now follow orders <laughs> when your baggage is now looking for you his, his, their baggage got lost their baggage found them here when your baggage finds you now now now, now Zach is the one to decide Zach is the one to decide do we keep you? Or are we tired? You see, but when you were stuck to it, the baggage was decided. Listen. It doesn't matter what's going on. I know people want, but, but Robert, you know my story is different. Everyone's story is different. Because you have a story, it does not make you unique. Everyone's story is unique. Let me tell you the actual thing. The thing that matters is not backstory. It's testimony. And you can't get that without crawling all that way and bringing your baggage. Like, what are you scared of? What are you worried about? That they'll look at you? Yo, I, me, I have a saying. I, I, by the way, I'm employing quite a few people nowadays. Quite a few. I'm employing a large amount of people. They're all in one department, but they're all under my employ. And I've learned something. These people need me to continue working to survive. Without me, they have no purpose. The department, department is called haters. That's the department. It's called haters. Haters, Robert Kanji Jr. Incorporated. If you don't have employment, the application process is free. They need me to survive. Their purpose is to watch and talk. To watch and share. To watch and gossip. If I stop working, they stop eating. Let me help you. The only difference between you and your baggage 
is that your baggage employed you and you did not employ it. Your baggage is the one running the show. It's the one that decides where you eat, who are your friends, how you treat people, where you go, your baggage. Today, I suggest you open up a company. Haters, Zach Incorporated. Or you take away Start giving people free employment. Ministry is ministry. I do two things. I pray for people. I preach to them. And then I employ those who hate me. I'm doing ministry. Me, that's how I love enemies. I employ you. You watch me. Watch me, bro. You watch me. I don't know what the problem is. And frankly, I don't care what the problem is. I care about the testimony. And the only way you're going to get one is if you say, you know what? I don't care how you look at me. You know, there's this, there's this, there's this really cool song. And it's a really old song. And my dad, when we were younger, would sing to all of us. It was really, really cool. He, sometimes he made up songs and sometimes he would sing some old songs. And there's this old song that's in relation to a puppet. And my dad would sing this part. I'm free. I've got no strings on me. Oh, I'm free. I have no strings on me. And it's an old movie. My dad used to buy us all the Toy Story movies. And all the old Disney movies when they were okay. Before they ended up, you know, they went woke, but anyway. And he sang that part, and I just, when I'm preaching right now, I just remembered it. But then, can you get there? Listen, some of you <laughs> think you're free, <laughs> but you have some strings on you. <laughs> Let me translate. <laughs> some of you think you have no baggage. <laughs> but you. Listen, there is nothing. Nothing that will keep you from God's love if you just come. Don't anything or anyone who tells you otherwise is a liar. God will love you, forgive you, cleanse you if you just come. There is nothing you can do or have done that is too too much. Nothing. Anyone who tells you that's the devil talking. I don't care who said it. They, why? Because what they are saying is that there is something that is impossible for God. There is nothing impossible for God. It does not matter what you did. It does not matter what you did at 8 a.m. this morning. There is nothing that will keep you from Him. Unless you stay there with your bag. 
and I don't know why you would want to stay there with your bag. Some of you think you look cute with your bags. And I'm just saying, all I'm saying is this. Is when we talked about doing right conference, we talked about right conference. Me and, Naxa, me and Naxa alone went back and forth. And Kabenge, we went back and forth. And then later on, we talked to Pastor Enoch. And we went back and forth. And then later, it was Pastor Isaac. And we went back and forth. And the thing that me and Naxa kept coming back to was that we need to make sure you're not scared to come to God. So we began to deal with it. And deal with it. And deal with it. And this is a foundation of something amazing. Because what it entails is that the people who are watching you now who are too scared to bring their baggage. And they need to know that someone else brought their baggage. So they can bring theirs. I'm not the best preacher. But the thing that I know that works is that people know if Robert got out of that I can get out of it too it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't it does not matter what it is at all. And I always wondered that God, how are you going to handle this meeting and this conference and what are you going to do and how are you going to do it? How are you going to move? What are we going to do? And today, 
and yesterday. At first, Kabenge played this song. We were working on something else. It wasn't even right related. And the ending of the song just it kept running in my head. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm a little I'm a little crazy. So I ended up playing the last 45 seconds of this song over and over again for an hour. Like stop. Like I was mad. But what they were singing just sat with me it was reminding me the Robert I provided for you there I provided for you here And believe me when I tell you, all I've needed, thy hand, you always provide. That thing was running in my head. Even now, even before I came out. And I couldn't get. All I've needed. Thy hand. You always provide. You always provide. I don't know what it is, whether you're watching me at home, whether there's a lack, whether it's sickness or disease, but all I've needed, God, you always. And I, I, I was sitting there. Even when I sat there, I was not planning on praying for everybody. That's not my. Th- I wasn't planning. I, w- I had come to talk. I'm talking to you now. I had come to do that. But God is so good. All I've needed. Buli cheneta aganga. Thy hand. You always provide. Believe me when I tell you. Nzikiriza when kukamba. I was listening to that song. The last two days, I listened it over the weekend. Part of last week, ever since Ron played it. When God brings you scholarship, the total worth is 80 million. God, you always provide. We didn't ask them. They found us. God bless East African University, but they found us. East African University, Janet, who come see for our scholarship. And 
I was. I I don't know. Simani, if you're watching us now, now so I don't know what's wrong. Simani, I don't I don't know why you're broke. I don't know why you're sick. That doesn't matter. But uh, we're going to do two things. Number one. Soka. We're going to bring baggage. And, and, and those of you who filled out those cards and you have them, bring them. If you didn't fill them out, I don't care. If you have baggage, you're coming with it. The second part is this. Today is the last day. Today. Tomorrow. Saturday. Those are the last days of lack in your life. Take this back. And don't interrupt me again. When when you want a breakthrough. Young people, listen to me. Because because I got this late. I don't want you to get it late. Learn to give. Listen to me. Before you clap, listen to me. The devil is the only person who will tell you not to give. God never ever said that. You know, there was a pastor who came here to preach. When we opened up, her name was Joyce Meyer. She came here to preach and we opened up the church and there was no roof yet. My, my dad had a voice. Tell him, give Joyce Meyer $10,000. We had no roof. Here, this roof you see, look up. There was no roof. And he was talking to my mom. And he, and he told my mom, Imagine this. Imagine this. The devil told me to give Joyce Meyer 10,000. And my dad was laughing. And my mom said, But since when has the devil ever told you to give? What if it's the devil holding your blessing because he tells you keep your hands full. Exactly. Hold that bag with two hands what on the sides. Hold it with two hands. Can Zach receive anything? But some of you keep your no, you don't give. God can't put anything in your hand even if he brought it in front of you in order to pick it up you have to put that down The devil is the one who lies about giving. And believe me, I believe the lie too. But that's not how God works. 
Give so it shall be given back to you. Shaking down, running over. Do, do you know what that means? It means that God is giving you something so big, He's compressing the size so you can take it home. You don't run over anything you don't want to crush or compress. We're doing two things. We're doing two things. Number one, we're bringing baggage. Don't be ashamed of what it is. Pornography, masturbation, lust, hate, gossip. Even if it's people who said things to you, bring it. And two, today I came to stab the devil in the head twice. So while you come to drop baggage, we are also coming with the intent to give so he knows today I lost every angle I had on them. If you're watching me online, and you're seeing me, and there's something that you've been praying for, but you haven't got it, it's not because it didn't fall down. It's because you weren't able to pick it with your hands because your hands are full. Some of you are holding baggage and some of you are holding something else that belongs to someone else. And I know this because as a ministry, when we began Karamoja, we didn't, we didn't believe me when I tell you, I work here. You're hearing it from me. The money here was not even enough to do what Pastor Robert said. But he said we're going to go. It will be tight, but we're going to help them. And all of a sudden, God said, uh oh, you're giving. I'm coming. You're giving, I'm arriving. Why? Because like I told you about that woman with the issue of blood. The woman gave her faith and her humiliation. And Jesus said, okay, I'm stopping. Those are the things that move heaven. Come up, Zach. You can grab a mic. One of the, the I, I I don't know what's I I don't even need them to to, to start singing. If you've been holding something for too long and you've been struggling with something for too long brother, sister, friend please come. Don't, don't wait for somebody to make an atmosphere. What you have held has taken too long. Please come. It does not matter who you are. You could be a pastor. You could be a nobody. But God looks at you like a somebody. Don't be scared. Don't be scared.
Some of you are sitting there and you don't know Jesus. But come. Jangu. Because there is nothing you have to be ashamed of. There is nothing you have to be ashamed of. Because God loves you. Some of you are passing offering baskets, you could put it there or you can drop it here. But all of you came, whatever it is you came with, I want you to hear me. Don't be ashamed to leave it here. And, and don't be ashamed when we're praying and we cry out to God. To let God know what you're leaving. If you need someone to go first, let me help you. I don't care if you're all looking at me. But if God can deliver me from pornography, He can do the same for you. You're not alone. And you don't have to be scared. What I mean by scared is you're afraid to say the thing that's holding you. Don't be scared. It doesn't matter what it is. You take fear away when you name the thing. And we know, we've both seen it. God can do amazing things. can do amazing things. If you simply just say, Father, I've come to drop off my baggage. I brought pornography in here. I brought lust in here. I brought pain in here. I brought my diseases in here. I brought the things I don't tell people about. But I brought them to you. Because even though they look at me, Father, you, you will take them and you will give me freedom. That you're freeing people. You're delivering people. And you're helping people. That you're taking baggage. And you're exchanging it for freedom. 
You're taking pain and you're exchanging it for oh. relief. Because God, you're faithful. God, you provide. God, some people don't know how they're going to make it. But God, you provide. The God that those who are even giving multiply what they're giving. Let them get a return even as they walk out of these doors. Let them receive an increase even as they lay down what they give. You are the owner of everything. So you can command where it goes. You're the God who can turn a little seed into a massive harvest. Even those who didn't come today and they're watching me online, God. Even as they give, even as they give, touch them, multiply them, take their baggage. God, increase them. Show them how amazing you are. Show them how beautiful you are. And God, for those who are giving to the transformation of a city and a district that is Karamoja, God, the same transformation that is going to take place there. Multiply it in their homes, in their life. And in their finances. For God, you're a good God. For God, you're a faithful God. And God, you are a strong God. And that as we pray, chains are being broken. Luggage is being left. People are being free. People are being free. Father, they came. They came for you. Not only that, Father, they gave for you. So, Father, repay them back tenfold. Give them back tenfold. Because you're so, so good. You are so, so good. So good. So I want you to close your eyes across this place. No looking to the person next to you. This is not about your friend next to you. This is about you, Jesus. Do you see him? His arms are open wide. And he is ready for you to release the weights guilt, the shame. This is what's happening right now. In this moment, you are going to pour out. Tell the Lord why you're sorry. Tell the Lord 
But you just want to be free. Tell the Lord that this is over. This is your moment to draw a line in the sand and say no more. Do you see him? Like the woman with the issue of blood. Fall down on your knees and touch his feet. Begin to put it down at his feet. Begin to reach out for his healing. Right now in this place. Don't stand around, don't look around. Jesus. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God. We're done playing games, Jesus. We're done playing around, Jesus. We don't want to go around in circles anymore. Come on, tell him with your own words. Speak with your own heart. Tell him. Say, I need you, Jesus. Say, I need you, Jesus. Right now in this place, I want you to see the baggage and the chain. You see, the chains that you have on your life, the lie is that you can be free later. My friend, you cannot pick that lock and that chain that's on your heart and on your life. But Jesus, tonight, is ready to place the grace of his key into your life. Right now, lift up your chains to him. Give him your chains. And say, Jesus, set me free. Set him free. Set them free. Chosen 
sin even though it hurts people even though it's destroying your life but you are going to take that sin you are going to take your baggage and you are going to place it at the feet of Jesus right now in this place this is what you need to do Jesus you see me Call on your face. Call on your face. Seek the Lord. Say Jesus. 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 All freedom is washing you in this place tonight. The fire of God is being released. Pour out. Pour out. Pour out. You're about to enter a new place. Don't stop now. Cry out. Cry out. Cry out. so very much that we cannot count it you're so good Father Jesus you are so good you are so good if you can take a second and look up at me What God is doing for you. What God is doing for you. He wants to do for others. But tonight, you are no longer baggage holders. Your lifeguards. That means you're going to go bring more people who need this. Just like you got it tonight. Just like you got it tonight. Just like you got it tonight. Tomorrow is going to be incredible. Trust me. You, you don't want to miss. We're finishing early because tomorrow is going to be incredible. Trust me when I tell you. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. And don't let others miss it. Bring them. Carry them if you must. It's about And there's one thing I want to say for everybody here and those watching on screen. The task we are undertaking to touch and reach every youth not charging a fee 
ngatetuina kwetu sasuza we're making them buy tickets ngatetuba sasuza kuyingira kubaguza ticket for them to experience jesus boba sobola funa kuchino is not easy sichangu if you're watching and you want to support there are two things you can do is pray kusaba and give no kuwayo because if there is anything we have seen tonight wabali wacho nache tulabiere hero is that these people were freed and there are more people that need freedom tunabya abantu wano ngabasumulula naye wachali abana nabetago sumululwa and we're running out of time eto obude tuina butono we're running out of time obude butugwako the biggest q and a i got when i did it on monday kumane wechira so chena funa ina kola was this girl replied i don't have a question robert kama sina chibuzo i've been struggling with suicide mbade njagara kweta walo mali yawani kana ngama bade njagara kweta but i'm coming to riot ninge na kuja riot on the first day kuna ko risokera dala This is the only hope I have. Omwana na gamba njakala kweta murayo tujasubiryo kali enina. Believe me I I when I got that message. Zikiza we nafuna obako obo kuva we yo mwana. I don't even know what to write back. Ngasima ina chenso bula muwandikira. I said she says that she's coming to write. Na gamba omwana agenda kuja murayo ti. the experience and how god moves has to be like no other engeri katonda jatala jatambula mune chanafu na chino kubanga sije cha bulijjo and when we set out to do this we tried to call chino god bless those who supported us katonda wo mukisama benaba emiliana fe because it was not cheap singa simu and it was not easy de byandi bade byangu but na ye i've played a part mwa kola chinene in helping free someone mukuyamba sumulo bantu from suicide oh ya mukuyamba sumule ali agenda okweta things alone here era ne bintu tubikola feka we do them together tubikolera wa mufena today you got freedom but you also got a community and a family o ina ne family na abantu bosobola bela nabo we are a community and a family tuli bantu era tuli family emu and we don't want you to struggle yate twagala obone bone weka you hear me i don't want you to struggle sagala obone bone weka i don't want you to fight demons alone sagala emizimo jirwane weka i don't sije nyagala i don't care if people promise and then they left sifa yewa lwe abusuza na bamba community Feturi ba tutichi tabatu You belong here ne gwe oli wa wano oli omukufe And like I said earlier in the day if it's still a little blurry if it's still not clear Ngawe na gambi obanga biri mu olufu tebira bikabulunji You can still belong Osobolo sigalanga woli This is still a place for you. Wobo ina wet for wano. These doors are open for you. Enzi no nzikule kululuo. Our team, team yafe, 
is not my team, it's our team. And what God has done for you, He will use you so you can do it for someone else. Twenty three, we have a lot. The next three days, we have a lot. Believe me when I tell you, we need your support. But I also say this How many of you are baptized? Who's baptized? Who's not baptized? How many people would like to get baptized during riot? If you would like to, please get with the team you see them, they have official. And give them your name. And come ready to get baptized on Saturday. Even if you've been baptized before. And then you were a kid and it wasn't your choice. I got baptized again a few years ago. 31st. Got baptized. My dad baptized me over there. Because at least this time I got to choose that I was following Jesus. So, even if you're scared to write your name, or you don't register, we'll still baptize you. If you show up, we're a family. We're a community. And we love you. But most important. Jesus loves you. Yes, Akwagala. So if you're watching me on television, and you're seeing numbers on the screen. Our goal is to reach as many young people as possible. For Christ. That one day these kids these young people the next generation will be standing here when I am not preaching and helping others and to do it is not easy it requires help it requires funds if you were head of a school that requires that you open doors. If you own a business that supplies food. Come join us. If you own a place that can give scholarship. I know people who can get them. Scholarship. If you can support what God is doing, please do so. Tomorrow is going to be powerful. Tomorrow is going to be powerful. I can't wait to have you guys. We have a few special guests tomorrow. And I'm having a one on one conversation with a pastor. Just one pastor tomorrow. I don't think you want to miss it. This man is easy. He helped me be cool. 
Robert wasn't always like this. Robert Robert used to be afraid of being like this. And this man said something to me after a program. With my dad. He said, just be you. Ever since then, I've been me. So I'll be having a conversation with Pastor Wilson Bugembe tomorrow. My mom is preaching. My dad is preaching too. Really powerful. And uh, I pray we have your names written down. And Because one of you might be getting a scholarship for 40 million. Yeah, and that this is just the beginning. On Saturday, I have an announcement. And it's a big one. It's a big one. It's for 2023. And I'm going to need your help. So will you be able to help me? You guys are good. I haven't even told you what. You, you really trust me. I could be saying, let's go take over Bank of Uganda. No, but... Uh, let, let me say it without the mic. Don't, in, don't interpret. And the rest of them have to show up on Saturday. To see and hear. The announcement. So, Pastor Enoch has something to say. We we'll love you all, and we will see you tomorrow. Clap your hands to Jesus, hallelujah. Clap your hands to Jesus. Celebrate the Holy Spirit. It's just day one in Jesus' name. And God has been so good to us. We bless the Lord in Jesus' name. We thank God so much for this opportunity. Riot 22 is on fire. We are on fire. And the grace of God is here. And the glory of God is here. Give someone a high five. And tell them I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you in the morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Tell three people. Tell three people. The temperature is rising. The temperature is rising. I'm, I feel it hotter and hotter. In Jesus' mighty name. We need a brief meeting. With all our volunteers. All our volunteers. All our ministers. Just stay in the seats over here. All our ministers. We need a 10 minute meeting. In Jesus' name. Because we have to be here early in the morning. So all the guys. 
guys on the, with the badges. Mwena mwena baina taga. Just come over close. Just come close here. Sembe da kumpi. In Jesus name. Mwena ya Yesu. May the grace of God be with you. Exitiam kama chimena mwe. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Omusai kama kama Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord. Exitiwa cha katonda. Go before you. Chiba kule mbere. Protect you. Chiba kume. As you're getting back home. Ngamudeka. We celebrate and we love you. Tuba sanyu kila tuba agara. Riot 2022. Riot ibidi abidi mwebi. We are on fire. Tukuto mwuri. God bless you all. Mukama bawa mukisa. In Jesus name. Mwena ya Yesu. So let me have all the volunteers.